Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a September spirit message. So after hearing it, I hope it would be grateful if you'd like, share or subscribe. Um, if it doesn't resonate, there's other messages on my channel if you want to have another, uh, have a browse or a look at them. But Spirit, please show me today the message that you want me to give Virgo. And we've got Treasure Island. Now it's a nine, so we're going towards the end of a completion here. Tens are at the end of a cycle. Um, so this is going towards blessings, achieving what it is you want to achieve. Lots of good things ahead here. Um, further down the line for you here, Virgo. Let's just see what else we've got. He also, as well, this turtle is, is moving slowly through the water. He's going with the flow, and that always helps if we're going with the flow. To, to, uh, it speeds things up for us, if you believe. So it's trusting in yourself in this journey. So accepting where you're at and going with the flow is important here. It's believing, remember, thoughts become things. So believing you can achieve things, believing that you're worthy of what you're wanting to achieve as well. You will get there. So it's your belief systems. If you believe it, you will see it. We'll take one more. And there's no need to worry. There is plenty of blessings up ahead here for you, Virgo. Definitely. We'll just get some tarot and then I'll give you a fairy message after the tarot reading. So, see what this is all about here. We've got the King of Swords in Treasure Island. We've got Justice, what we like to see. And we've got the beautiful Queen of Wands here. If you believe, this is about the. Page of Pentacles. Our central energy here is your Nine of Swords, so that's appropriate. We've got to stop doing that. And there's your beautiful Empress energy. So no need to worry. We have got the Seven of Swords. We've got the Hanged Man. And we've got the Full Card. So what we've got here at the centre of this energy is we've got different degrees of anxiety. Now, this can be to do with your belief system. Like I say, we don't want to be having sleepless nights. If there's things, situations or people around us that are causing us anxiety or stress, it's time to be looking at that and move away from it. Now, there's different, like I say, different degrees. Not everybody's losing sleep at night, but anything that's weighing heavy on your mind. If you are believing that, like I say, that you're never going to get to where you want to go, well, this is a nine. Spirit saying that your treasures are ahead. There is abundance ahead for you, whatever this may be that you're trying to achieve. So don't be worrying about it. This is the card of worry, you see. So Spirit saying there's no need to worry, Virgo, because things are moving forward. If you just go with it just now, things will work out in the end for you. Now, this is about your stability. So this could be in any area of your life we're talking about. It could be what your idea of stability would be because it's a young energy. So this is to do with your finance, your work life, your environments, your home life, your relationships of any description. So it's about not worrying about things. There's blessings coming for you that's going to help you go towards what it is that you consider to be stability for yourself here. Now, it, it could be that you would, uh, you know, want an, another job or you could be thinking about that. You don't need to worry about it because things are going to work out in your favour. If you believe that you're able to achieve things, that is the start of the achieving process. Trusting and believing in yourself to go towards the kind of stability that you would like. So it might be that you want to do a, you want a new job that maybe pays a wee bit more money, uh, that type of thing. It might be that you're thinking about moving house and thinking investing your money somewhere, thinking to come together with your partner to create some sort of stability. Anything like that, it will be different for everybody. But this is about you coming out of this Nine of Swords energy, not worrying about it and taking control of things. The Emperor energy is all about, you know, being in the driving seat here. So this is somebody who's very empowered. He knows what he wants. He's worked at it and he's become, he's created his own wee kingdom for himself. So like I say here, if there's something, what your idea of stability would be for you, it's time for you to not th overthink it or be anxious about it. It's about time to take action, believing that you are able to go towards the kind of stability that you want here. 
So being in the driving seat. Now, this could also be somebody coming in with a lot of knowledge that's going to help you because they're a very knowledgeable person. So it could be a teacher if you wanted to start, you know, a new course. Uh, there could be a counsellor, anybody that's knowledgeable, that's in a place where you could learn something from them. But believing in yourself and your ability to create here is deadly important. Now, what we've got here is of no need to worry. Now, there might have been in the past that what's caused this anxiety some lies, cheats or deceiving or disappointing type of energy around you. Uh, so that's understandable if you've been a bit anxious. Now, what Spirit's saying here is you've not to worry about this because what's going to happen is you can choose. You can choose. You've either learned about this deceit, or you, but also through what you've learned, you can choose to walk away. So this here is mental energies. This is my, the mind, swords of the mind. So it might be about you deciding, I've learned my lesson, I've, I've learned about this information or this person or this environment, and I'm deciding now to take my knowledge with you and to walk away from it. So that's the type of energy we're talking about when we're talking about empowering. Making that decision to go away from this type of energies. Now, this is a hanged man. And we can feel a wee bit stuck with the hanged man. It might be that we've had to use, you know, there might be things we're worrying about. And we might feel as if we've been, we've needed patience here. Spirit holds us in this type of energy when they want us to learn things. So he can hang from the tree of knowledge. You normally see that in the other tarot deck. And he's gaining knowledge. So it's about your perspective here. This is mental energy. It's next to the Nine of Swords energy. So it's about not worrying about things and understanding that you've been in a phase of learning and your soul growth. It's about your soul growth here. So like I say, you could have learned and been disappointed or you could have learned some, that somebody's lied or cheated or let you down in some, some way or other. But it's about looking at this as an experience that, you know, of education. It's you've gained knowledge about this. So we're not going to worry about it. We can walk away from it. And we're going to take a leap of faith towards brand new beginnings here. Now, this can be quite a, you can feel a bit fearful because we were going into a, a new cycle. You see, he's starting from zero here. So he's starting from scratch. So he's leaving behind all these worries and his anxieties here. He's walking away from disappointments or anybody that's let him down or lied or cheated here. And he's going towards his idea here of what stability is for you. Now, it's it's about how you're perceiving things is highly important, but use your knowledge that you've gained here to move you forward, to start the brand new beginnings and build greater stability. And believing that you are able to do this is, is half the battle. Believing that you can create anything you want. You can start from ground zero and work your way through. Now, there's treasures to be got. There's a lot of blessings down the line through having this approach. So like I say, using your knowledge, looking at the bigger perspective, maybe even changing the way you're looking at things or you're doing things here to go towards your stability and having that leap of faith because you're believing in yourself that you can achieve these blessings and start this stability to go towards the stability uh, that you want for the future here. Now, this here is about clarity. Now, there could be a karmic situation or justice coming in. It could be that you've been worrying about court cases or anything legal coming forward. And um, this is going to, somebody could come forward. It could be a lawyer or professional person that's coming forward with some information that's going to help move you forward towards your stability here. So it could help you take that leap of faith and help you start again at ground zero for whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve. Now, you've not to worry about this because it's going to be a good outcome here. This could be uh, you gaining clarity as well if karmic justice has been involved in this. Karmic justice can be if somebody is mistreating you, upsetting you, causing you anxiety, karmic justice can be learning that. So the universe is stepping in here and they're showing you this person or this situation for what it really is. And that gives you the time to learn and grow and decide how you're going to move forward. So that can be, that's an example of karmic justice, seeing through somebody or things coming to light. The universe is helping things come to light. Now, if that's the case, you can start to see clearly how you want to go forward. So this could be you getting the clarity, the mental clarity here. He's sitting down there. He's clear about how he wants to go. He's left behind all this, uh, you know, disappointment. 
He's come from an intellectual place. Now, this is swords. There's no emotions on this table. There's no cups here. So it's having a clear idea of how you want to go forward, using the knowledge you've gained. It could also be you communicating to someone that you're leaving an environment or a person behind that's going to uh, that's let you down. Okay, now if it's somebody coming in to give you information, uh, Swords are Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. So they could help you understand what's going on. So karmic justice could be somebody coming forward with knowledge that's going to move you towards greater stability and towards the, the things that you deserve to have here, Virgo. And this can help you create passionate new beginnings. Now, she's very creative here. She's an attractive queen. Um, you know, she's she's sure about she, what she's passionate about and she's going towards that. So it could be that you want to start a new job, a new relationship. Um, and you're, anything you're passionate about that can start stability for you. It could be a new course. You've got the idea that, you know, you want to move and learn a new skill of some type. Anything that makes your heart sing here is worth looking at. So believe in yourself here, uh, Virgo. Believe that you are able to do these things. You don't want to be worrying about things. Things come to light. Don't be worrying. Things come to light because it's lessons that we're learning. And this is the patience card. You've been held for a wee while. It might feel as if you've been a wee bit stuck, like I say, but it's so that you learn things about a person's situation and environment to enable you to make good judgments. Take control of this. Take a leap of faith towards what it is that you genuinely are passionate about here. Okay, so I will get you a fairy answer card. Believing in yourself and the journey, knowing that you're able, don't be worrying. You're able to go towards your blessings, whatever you consider that to be. So we'll have a fairy. Oh, there we go. Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfil your dreams. You need to have good people around you to help you go towards your blessings. And we want to walk away from any deception or disappointments here. OK, I hope this helps, Virgo. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.